How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this unboxing and boot review video of the Adidas F50. These are the elite models of the latest editions. So you're looking to pay from roughly in euros or pounds, roughly around 220, 230 currently for the brand new colorway. And with the eventual, when new, newer colorways come out and you get discount codes with the Adidas app or Adidas website, you can look to get them from around roughly 170, 180 euros or pounds or maybe even cheaper further down the line. So make sure to check out on their website and apps to get the cheaper price if that's what you're looking for in terms of the laceless elite models. Now these boots are very more, much targeted for narrow to normal feet types. And if you haven't seen our previous uh, review on the laceless editions and you're a first time viewer, stay tuned as we're gonna help you to decide to see if these boots are for your feet type in terms of the right sizing, or whether you should go for a different pair such as the uh, Adidas Copers or Adidas Predators, which may be much more accommodating for your specific feet type. So for laceless editions of the F50, we always recommend for narrow to normal feet types to start off with true to size first. If you feel like there's still so much space in the midfoot and toe box area, because there's no laces to do up in terms of the midfoot area, and it's just a one piece lacing system, so you have to just you know stick your feet into the boots right away and there's not going to be any you know stretchiness then you you would have to you would have to get the right sizing for it to get that kind of snug or comfortable fit in your own terms so if you're looking for a more of a snug fit for narrow feet types we recommend anywhere going from a half to one size down from usual adidas footwear sizing as these run narrow and if you have narrow feet you're going to have a lot of space in the midfoot and toe box now, go according to how you feel comfortable. If you want your toes to touch the toe box area and not have much space in terms of movement in the midfoot, then go one side, one full size down. If you want a bit more leeway, go a half size down for your narrow feet. For normal feet types, we recommend just going true to size. It shouldn't need to change at all. It should be nice and very comfortable for you. But if you feel like there's still so much space in the toe box area, go a half size down to get that snug and tighter fit. For wide feet, these ones are 50-50 because we've had some players in our team um, be able to wear these and some find it very uncomfortable. So we always recommend if you're ordering them online and you get them delivered, order two size or go to the Adidas store in the physical store that's nearby you. Or if you go to a football boot store that sell these football boots, try them on before you take them onto the pitch. That way you can always find the right size for you and then you don't have to you know, get the wrong size, use it on the pitch and you can't return and get your money back. So for wide feet, we recommend starting off with true to size first. If it's too snug and too tight, then go a half size up and see how they feel. You should get a rough feeling in terms of your own comfort, in terms of the midfoot and also toe box area, if it's comfortable for you. If not, go for a different pair of boots as you know, there's no point you know, having a boot being too narrow if you get the bigger sizes and then the midfoot being very tight and um, nice lockdown, but then the toe box being just too big and too much space. And the same applies for very wide feet. Try half size up. You may have to go one full size up and see how they feel and then go according to your own comfort in, in terms of what you like about the uh, the feel for it. Toe box, midfoot and heel cushion. So you'll know once you put the boots on if the fit is good or you should go for a different pair like the Preds or the Copas. The sole plate wise, very, very comfortable and nice. It has a nice middle... Um, middle stud in the in the middle of the sole so it gives you that kind of nice stability as it always does with the speed boots that adidas have so we always can we always recommend playing these on fg and you can also wear them on ag there's no point buying two pairs of boots and spending 500 euros or pounds unless you're going to be playing on ag most of the time then just go for the ag models but if you're playing on both surfaces just go for the fg you can wear them on both if you're playing on ag make sure you use them at least one to two weeks out of the box in terms of your own practice or training with some friends, just getting used to the boots itself, taking some shots on goal or passing, running around with them, doing agility drills, just so you break into the boots and the boots soften up over time. And then you can take them more into team training and matches as you've gotten used to the boots and the materials to soften up, reducing you know small chances of injuries or niggles and also helping out in terms of performance as the material is much more softer. Um, so yeah, overall, it's very nice and good speed boot that can be worn, as we said, on FGAG. But don't wear them on 2G like sand pitches, as it will just break off the plastics very quickly and then the durability will not last. Go for the turf editions of the F50s. Um, and also it just helps you, you know, not slipping over on like 2G flat ground pitches or hard ground pitches. 
just keep these to FGAG. If you need to get SG, go for that. If you're going to be playing on wet and muddy conditions or winter seasons, just go for the SG. It's exactly the same in terms of the material on the upper. Um, but all in all, really nice and you know seamless striking and dribbling and speed boot in terms of the laceless um, F50s. No distractions in terms of shooting and volleys. So that's a really nice touch about it. If that's what you like, then we highly recommend going for these, especially if you have the budget. But if you haven't, check out our other videos that we've made on terms of the league editions, the cheaper models, which is about a third off the price of these. You're going to save a lot of money. Do check out on our channel as well, and you'll be able to get some good ideas to see which one's for you. Um, but don't forget to also leave a comment down below in terms of what you think of these boots, the price for these uh, boots, if it's worth it, pros and cons, what you, what you noticed about them, as your reviews also help out people that are watching this video now or in future reference make a decision to see if these boots are for them or if they should go for a different speed boot or like another Adidas football boots. But once again, thank you again for all the support that you guys have been, guys and girls have been sending to us. Uh, we're going to continue making more unboxing reviews for you in all levels and tiers. And yeah, we'll just keep going. All the very best and take care.